What's up guys? It's Kevin here again. Uh, today I was actually working on my sister-in-law's uh, SUV. She needed a headlamp replacement or the headlight bulbs, low beam burnt out. And it really just got me thinking of how great the headlamps are in the Tesla Model 3 as it's just gone dark here. I really love and appreciate the Model 3 headlamps. If you own a Tesla, you probably agree. These headlamps are great to the point that they're almost borderline too bright, probably if you're uh, an oncomer. Um, I know a lot of the time I actually get flashed. Um, they think my high beams are on. They're not on, they're, they're just that bright. Um, I mean, it's great for me if you live like I do out in the woods. It's really great for the back road driving. I love the headlamps. Like I said, I, I wouldn't change a thing, but do they, how do we make them better? Because great doesn't, you can always be better than great. Well, there is something called matrix headlamps. And why is that a big thing and why is that important? Well, up until just very recently, matrix headlamps, for whatever reason, were uh, banned in the United States. I, I don't know why, um, that's, just, that's just how it was. And I have a friend in the lighting industry and I couldn't wait to tell him that matrix headlamps were approved uh, by our politicians. And just why is that a great, great thing? Well, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of what matrix headlamps are and why I am so excited for them. And to do that, I'm gonna do the Tesla light show. And I know the light show is a little bit corny, but bear with me, I'll tell you why it's really cool. So let's just get going. So we'll just, I already got it queued up. Start the light show. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen the light show before. It is kind of corny, but here it is. And just wait for it. I'm not sure how it's coming through, but can you see that the car is spelling out Tesla in the headlamps? Not sure how it coming through, but you can see that the low beam is not one individual bulb, but it's a group of tiny little bulbs all put together. Well, what does that mean? Let me just shut the car up here, sorry. Oh, it's really starting to go now. It's even doing the wipers, all right. We'll shut it up here. Why is that more than just a party trick? Well, like I said, I don't think it's gonna come in through here, but basically the low beams, as I said, is a group of these tiny LEDs instead of it being one single bulb. And what I mean by that, we can show you on my sister-in-law's car. It's kind of the same thing as a projector, but it is one one singular bulb lighting up the whole projector. Where this, it's individual lights that can individually light up. So what does that mean? Well, to my knowledge, it's almost kind of like an OLED TV. Now, um, if you guys have an LG TV, you know that the OLEDs have an insane ability to display the deepest, darkest blacks. Your cell phone actually is an OLED display as well, okay? And basically that means when it wants to display black, it simply turns off those pixels. That's how it can display really deep, dark black. So why is all of that or any of that important with matrix headlamps? Well, I can't say for certain because they've never been used in the United States, but I have read about them. So basically, just follow along here, we have the head, we have the camera system on the top, right? Well, let's just imagine in real time, if the car can see things down the road, like other vehicles coming towards it, and then in real time, it dims 
just that exact spot of the headlamp that would be blinding the driver. So you could, in effect, have almost your high beams on, really displaying the road high up for the branches, all the way down the road, yet in real time, it's dimming just the part of the light that would be hitting the oncoming car. And then, and then of course, that's in real time. So as you're going around corners, you're going up and down hills, it could in fact, in effect, locally dim those pixels or those LEDs that are blinding the tra traffic. I don't know if that's how it's gonna work. That's just my hope. And I'm really anxious to see if there's gonna be an update in the next couple of months. So you can actually probably see here that I do have the driver's side headlamp just a little bit lower than the passenger side. And then the high beams, it's a little bit higher, of course, but we will go take this for a little drive in the mountains, well, it's not really mountains, in the hills, and we will see just how great the beams really are. Let's go. So, kind of on the road here now. I'm actually surprised as I look at the camera just how bright the sky still is. It's not that bright to my eyes. The cameras are doing a better job of lighting it up. But like I said, we're on a kind of curvy back road here in the woods. Uh, I know it's not pitch dark yet, but I think it can still give you an idea of just how far the lights do shine. Um, I think you can see how great the cutoffs are on the sides and the top. You can really see just how bright and how well the lights illuminate the road. And that's the high beam. It's really, really bright. You can see the reflectors down there that you don't see with the uh, low beams on. Now, I'm surprised that I still blind as many cars because the bulbs don't appear to go that high on low beam as compared to high beam like that. But I do know it's an issue because I'm sure I can't be the only one blinding the oncoming traffic. Uh, I probably get flashed two times a trip or a commute. Um, and I'm sure you guys have issues as well. Um, so that's really why it would kind of be interesting if one of these cars flashes me on camera, but we won't get that lucky, I'm sure. No, but again, you can just see how wonderfully these uh, bulbs light it up and I'm really excited for the matrix bulbs to, to come out or the software to come out. Again, those are the high beams and the low beams. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this film. I gotta do some more research on this matrix bulbs. If you live uh, out of the States and have experienced matrix bulbs, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave something down in the comments that tells me how it works. I really am excited for it. That's all, folks. Stay in touch. Stay safe.